Woodland and Forest Habitat Forests and woodlands are places that have lots of trees close together. There are many kinds of forests in different kinds of climates, but trees are the one thing they have in common. Woodlands are a little more open than forests. Woodlands have space to let a bit of light in between trees. Forests often have so many trees that it's actually pretty dark when you walk around in them. There are two main groups of trees found in forests and woodlands. They are conifer trees and deciduous trees. Conifers. Conifers have thin, needle-like spikes for leaves. The leaves stay green all year, so they are also called evergreens. Conifers also grow cones where their seeds are stored. Deciduous trees. Deciduous trees have flat leaves that change colors in the autumn, fall off in the winter, and grow back in spring. Animals and insects who live in forest and woodland habitats rely on trees to give them what they need, shelter, food, and protection. Do you recognize any of the animals in this picture? These are the animals that we would see around us in our forests. Here are some photos of woodland and forest animals. Deer. Elk. Raccoons. Squirrels. Great Horned Owls Foxes Skunks Chipmunks Black Bears Mountain lions, woodland and forest animals often have trouble finding food during the winter months. So what do the animals do? Some animals store up food for winter. Squirrels bury nuts and acorns in fall for winter. In winter, they leave their nests in trees to eat twigs, buds, and bark. They smell along the ground to find nuts they buried in the fall. Chipmunks store food in their winter nests. They feed on insects, nuts, berries, seeds, fruit, and grain, which they stuff into their cheek pouches and carry to their burrow to store. Chipmunks hibernate, but instead of storing fat, they wake up from time to time to eat the food they have stashed away. Some animals hibernate. Skunks, bears, and raccoons eat as much as they can to put on layers of fat under their skins. They grow thick coats of fur. They spend long periods of time sleeping in the winter and living off the food that has been stored as fat in their bodies. Some animals migrate. This means that they move to where it is warmer in the winter 
a place that has more food. Many birds migrate. This is a picture of Canadian geese migrating. Some animals stay and do what they usually do. Forest animals that have not stored food for winter must struggle through deep snow to find a meal. Deer eat buds and twigs on the low branches of trees and bushes. Foxes hunt for rabbits and mice. Let's review the four things animals do to survive in the winter in forests and woodlands. One, store food. Two, hibernate. Three, migrate. Four, stay.